How's it going guys and girls? My name is Camel and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. In this video I'm going to show you the Bosmore or Wood Elf weapon and armor styles. So first up we have the light armor set and it looks pretty damn cool. I really like the design that they've used for this. The way they've laid it and outlined the different layers looks pretty sick. It's quite simple for a end game set really. I suppose it would depend on what color combination it ends up with. Would, you know, define certain parts or not. But I really like the horns and I really love the antlers on the helmet. That's really cool. Next up, we have the medium armor set. This looks brutal. I th it's a very assassin looking medium armor set we have here. I mean, the spikes coming out of everywhere and that just face mask thing. It almost looks like Shredder. Pretty cool though, I really like the use of bones and particularly the spiky parts of bones. It's very plain yet effective. Very cool set, I'm digging that set. And now we have the heavy armor set. This thing looks sick. I do particularly enjoy that dark seeded green. It's almost like a dark aqua, really cool. I really love the use of bones on the pauldrons and on the helmet, very gruesome or intimidating looking helmet they've used for this set. The armor itself looks really cool. Again, I love the way they've laid it. They've given it almost like a scale kind of look in certain parts, a very cool set. I'm pretty impressed with their Bosma set. So first up for the one-handed weapons, we have the one-handed axes. These are cool. I love that kind of engraving design. It's almost like a Celtic or Celtic design that they've put into the axe head and down the handle. Looks really cool. I like the shape of the axes too. They're pretty, the axe heads are actually quite small, but they're pretty cool. Very unique shape that they've given the Bosma weapons here. And next up, we have the one-handed swords. These things are cool. I love the curve. It still gives it like a very elven essence, but it's not super flamboyant like we would see with say the high elves or the Ultima. It's still quite a simple blade, but it still has that elven touch. Really cool, and again, I love the pattern that they have used up the blade there. Now next up, we have the one-handed maces. I like the fact that the mace head isn't the biggest thing ever. We do see that in some of the other weapon styles. The mace heads do look a bit silly, but these look pretty cool. The fact that they're just spikes on the end of a stick. Now for the two-handed weapons, we have the two-handed axe, the battle axe. Very cool. I like the fact that it's double-edged. Again, it's borrowing those inlays, those inscriptions, those, what do you call it, patterns that they used on the one-handed axe, which, as I said before, were really cool. I really love that they've repeated the pattern. It gives it a consistent feel. Now for the two-handed sword, the great sword, the claymore. This is not what I was expecting, but it's really cool. It almost looks... No, it doesn't. Don't worry. It doesn't look ancient elf whatsoever. It kind of does though, I don't know, there's something about it that give, I'm getting like that ancient elf vibe off. Well, I love the way that it gets bigger towards the end, and look at that, between the blade and the handguard, look at that design. Very unique, very effective, very cool looking weapon. And now we have the two-handed mace, the warhammer, the maul. As we've seen in some of the other weapon styles, it is basically just a scaled up version of the one-handed mace. But again, I really liked the realistic design they gave the one-handed mace. So again, that is dittoed onto my opinion of the two-handed mace. Now we have the daggers. Very sleek looking design. They're very similar to the sword design. But like I said before, it has that very elven feel without being ridiculously flamboyant and showy-offy kind of look. Very cool. I like the simplicity yet the effective design that they've given this. I love that inlay that they've put up the blade. Okay, now we have the bow. For anyone wondering, wood elves do not cut down trees and they don't use wood from Valenwood. They import wood from other provinces. So if you think there's a loophole in the law, that's how it works. Very cool looking bow. I love that almost blade design coming off on other side of the handle, the base of the arms. Very dark looking bow. It's got that same kind of inlay that they used on the sword on the arms of the bow. And I love the feather design on the arrow. Really cool looking feathers. Now we just test this out. Take down Mr. Snake. Couldn't find Mr. Fox today, so we take down Mr. Snake. Now we have the staves. All of the staves sharing the same skin. No matter what staff you use, it will have this skin. Very cool. I love the fact that they've put a kind of antler design even on the ends there. They put that gem in. It just gives it such a more magical feel when it's got a gem in there. Really cool looking staff. I enjoy that staff. And lastly, we have the shield. Very interesting. Again, it's got that sleek look that we kind of saw in the swords. That kind of simple, effective design that we see in the ancient elf style. Very cool looking shield there. 
And that is it for the Bosma or Wood Elf weapons and armor styles. I'm doing this series just to help you guys out because there isn't really any way to see the kind of things that you're going to craft without crafting them, which can be a pain. I mean, if you have 14 different styles to choose from, essentially you have to craft all different 14 styles to decide what style you want to use, which is not the way to go. So yeah, I'm making this series just to help you guys out, save you so much time and materials as well. Now these colors that you've seen in this video aren't necessarily the colors that you're going to end up with, depending on what material you use, it will change the color. And depending on the quality of the item, it will also determine the colors that come into effect. And I do believe in a future patch, they are bringing in armor dying. So all of this information is irrelevant anyway. And you will have complete free will to customize your armor colors. So if you are interested in weapon and armor styles, be sure to check out the link in the description, the link to my playlist where I just show you the different craftable styles, just so you can get to see what each style looks like. So don't forget to like, comment, and share and as always if you did like this video and you would like videos similar to this one please subscribe it would help me out a lot i'd like to thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video see you there